Hi everybody, this is Danielle with The Novel Plan. Welcome to my channel if you're new, if you're returning. Welcome back, it's great to have you guys here. Today is going to be an updated planner lineup for me. So I do the academic calendar, so I start my planners in July and then I run through the following June. That's just kind of how I prefer it. I have kids in school, so that makes more sense to me. So I have new planners coming up for July. I thought I would show you guys what I'm going to be using and what I am starting out with through 2022 school calendar academic planner lineup for me. Now, a little caveat, I am planning on starting with these planners. It is not a guarantee that I'm going to stick with them. My hope is that they all work well for me, but I am not shy when it comes to changing planners if they're not working. So I'm starting with these. Maybe three months down the road I might change, but we will see, and this is what I'm going to start with. So, I'm going to show you guys what I'm starting with, and then I'm going to kind of do a little breakdown of how I'm going to be using each planner individually. I have some sticky notes throughout to show you guys kind of how I'm using each section and how it relates to my life and the different categories. So... First one that I'm doing this year is new to me. This is the Erin Condren A5 Daily Duo. Now, I have never done a daily planner before, so we shall see how this one goes. This one is just going to be kind of daily planning for me to actually break down to-do lists every day, household activity. This is kind of a general, like, in-depth look at everything that I'm going to be doing. So. We will see how the daily planning goes. It may be good, it may not be, but we will see. I will show you guys in depth in just a second how I'm going to be using this. So the second planner that I'm doing is my tried and true. This is the Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. This one I have been in for about a year and I loved it. I tried it out last year and it was fabulous. So I'm going to be doing this again. This one is going to be a overall planner. This is the planner that's going to sit in my living room or kitchen somewhere on the main floor where my whole family can see it. It's going to have an overall kind of view of what we have going on the week, appointments, activities, things like that, and my main monthly for all my activities is going to be in this planner as well. So this one will be available for my whole family. I am trying this out this year. This is the Erin Condren A5 Agenda. This is the camel color. And I am going to be using this one for more detailed things. So I have my health and fitness in here. I am tracking like shopping, things like that. I'm going to be doing some holiday planning in here. It is just kind of a catch-all and I have inserts from Lights Planner Action in here. So I'm, I'm excited to dive into this guy and kind of decorate this for the different seasons. Again, this is one that's new to me so it may work, it may not, but I'm going to be trying it out. Last but not least is this right here. This is the Erin Condren Monthly Planner. This is going to be a content planner for me. So I have a YouTube channel. I'm opening a business. A lot of social media things for me to post. So this is what this is going to be used for. I'm going to be planning out all of my content for YouTube, all my content for my business, everything like that. And then I'm going to be kind of setting up a dashboard layout in this, which I'll show you guys as well. So those are the four planners I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys around. I'm going to show you what the planners look like on the inside and show you how I am using them. I'm very excited. This year I am actually using four Erin Condren planners. So we shall see how it goes. If they are not working for me, I will swap them out, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what they look like. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the A5 Daily Duo. So this is the one that's new to me this year. This is one that I'm excited to use, but I'm a little hesitant about just because I'm not quite sure how well I'm going to keep up with daily planning, filling it out every single day. I would love to make this part of my routine and just a habit, and then it would be great because I feel like this will help me be much more productive, but we'll see. I do have setup videos for this A5 planner and the hourly planner and the A5 agenda. I will link them in the description below or link them on top here so you guys can go see that if you want to see exactly how I set it up. But I'm going to do it just a quick flip through. This is kind of what I did on the title page, just my name and some washi. These boxes are going to be for currentlies, so uh, my favorite music, favorite book, favorite TV show, favorite food, favorite podcast, and favorite influencer for each month. I'm going to write here in the beginning. And then for this over here, this is going to be a breakdown of my kids' school schedule and kind of things like that. So like the purple is the holiday breaks, the pink right here is first day of school, things like that. So when we get our school schedule, I will fill this out the rest of the way. So I have this in the beginning. This is 2022, so I'm not doing anything with that right now. I did cut down one of the Erin Condren rulers to fit here in my A5, which I will move this 
to each current day just to help me. So into the monthly. So my A5 monthly is going to be an overview of everything. I don't know if this is going to work, but this is what I want. This is going to be minimal stickers. I don't want a ton on here because this is going to be very busy. And I kind of want it that way. So I have all of the planners I'm using. I have four planners that I'm using. Three are kind of daily and weekly planners and the last one is kind of more of a, an overall planner. But this is going to be a culmination, a culmination, how do you say that word? A culmination of a couple planners. I want to put everything on this monthly spread. If this is the planner that I'm going to be in every single day, I want everything here. So I'm going to be using pen, maybe a few stickers, but mostly it's going to be, I wrote even little notes, no deco, I don't really want deco, maybe some functional stickers, we'll see, but this is going to be all planners, activities, this is going to be family activities, sports, um, art class, whatever extra activities they do, this is going to be me, the days that I'm filming, I'm going to put on here that I'm filming those days, the days that I have, you know, other content things that I need to be doing that are big things, like if there is an Aaron Condren release that I need to be around for or things like that, they will go on here. I am going to combine all of my monthly planners into here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have enough space. This may be a pipe dream and this may not work, but I really want one planner monthly to have everything on it. So when I flip to it, I'm like, okay, so I have, you know, I have to film on this day for this video. I have soccer this afternoon, I have this appointment going on, like I have everything in one planner and I don't have to flip to three planners to see that. So we will see if this works and if it's big enough. I have decided that if this is not big enough, I will go to the Daily Duo, the big size, not the A5, because I really think a daily planner is something that I need. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these pages yet. I might not even utilize them. If I end up not utilizing them, I will tape run them and I will make them one page so I don't have to. So then into the daily pages. On the daily page of this, I kind of gave a little overall of what I'm going to be doing. So this hourly section is going to be for dividing my day into different activities, things that I need to do. So like during the school year, I know that I drop my kids off at 8 a.m. and I pick them up at 3 p.m. So that is definitely going to be my 3 p.m. and my 8 a.m. hour. If I'm filming, if I'm running errands, if I have to go to the post office, like things are going to be planned out hourly based. I already have an hourly planner, so this is pretty familiar to me. It's going to be pretty easy. I probably will end up stickering some on this just because I think it's fun and I think that looks good. We'll see. Some days I might, some days I might not. This section is going to be a to-do and to-buy section. So when something quick comes up in my head and I'm like, say I'm watching a TV show and I'm all, oh crap, I forgot that I didn't get peanut butter. I'm going to write it over here on this day. And then if I don't end up getting it this day, I'm going to move it to the next day. So it kind of travels with me. And I think in this corner I'm going to do a health overview. I think I'm going to take some highlights of my day, maybe my amount of steps, maybe my meals, maybe what I ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in this corner and just kind of have it daily here. I guess we'll see. I might use this as a journal area too. That is another idea that I came up with. So that is mostly what this is going to be. This is just going to be a daily planner where I fill it out and hopefully use this. I would love to use this as like my main planner that I look at every single day. So that's the A5 Daily Duo. All right, next up is the Erin Condren Hourly. So this planner is going to be a family planner. This is going to sit in my kitchen. This is going to be for everybody to reference in my family and be able to look at. So I do have a setup video of this Erin Condren Hourly on my channel as well, but this is what I did with the front page. This is the Just My Type Neutral. This page right here is going to be for birthdays. Um, we have a big extended family. Lots of nieces and nephews, aunts and uncles, brother and sister-in-laws, things like that. So I have all the birthdays in the front. This page right here is going to be for important events that are not school related and not birthdays. So anything else, vacations, and if it's an extracurricular activity, like um, my kid's school does like dining out after school or they do like um, skating nights, things like that, that will go in here. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this page yet, so I'm going to leave it blank. 
the monthly page is going to be for my family. So this is going to sit in the kitchen, which means this planner is going to be referenced by everybody. So this is going to be things like if I have a board meeting for our soccer league, if the kids have soccer practice, if they are sleeping over on a certain night at somebody's house, if they are, you know, going on a field trip, like anything kid related and anything family related is going to be in this monthly spread. I love monthly spreads and this is something that my whole entire family can reference. Into this right here. So the weekly is going to be a little bit more bare than what I'm used to. I am not going to put to-do lists in the days. I am actually going to use this for mostly family activities. So you do the big events like the whole month here. I'm going to pull each individual week and put it in here. So this will be big events like soccer, like um, me volunteering at their school, things like that. And then I will do all the dinners at the bottom so my kids don't ask what we're having for dinner and then I'm also going to put when my YouTube videos go live here as well. I might use this sidebar for kind of an area for my family to write down things so if my husband is out of something and he needs me to grab it from the store he can write it here. Same with my eight-year-old if she needs something that she ran out of or she thinks of she can write it over here and it's kind of more of a family planner. So that's what I'm going to use that for. The notes pages in the back kind of correspond with all of this. I have a set of video of all these pages in the back here on my YouTube channel as well, but a quick flip through. All of my notes pages in the back are related to my family. So meal ideas, this is a grocery master list, so I keep these things in stock in my house. This is school info for the kids, like login information, you know, school phone number. This is going to be a school calendar. The next page is the when did I last, so when did I last do an oil change or get a haircut, health check, home projects, which is related to the family, family activities, if my husband takes the girls out and he wants an idea of something to do with them, seasonal tasks, which is stuff that needs to be done every season around the house, cleaning schedule and weekly reset, so things that I have to do on Sunday to get ready for the upcoming week, and then cleaning tasks that I get done daily, weekly, monthly and then a gift idea. So all of these notes pages in the back correspond to family life. So my husband can reference them, my eight year old can get back here and read if she wants to, things like that. So this hourly planner is going to be a family planner and is going to be sitting in my kitchen most likely. And I love this cover, it's so pretty. Next up is going to be my content planner. So this planner is going to be for me. This is just me. This is just mine. Nobody else is going to be referencing it. So this one is going to be maybe not as in depth. So monthly planner. There's my front page. This is the mid-century circles design. I don't know what I'm going to do with this page yet. I might, I don't know. I might put like the days that I would ideally love to put out videos. I put out two to three videos a week, so maybe I could put, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I don't know. We'll see <laughs> what I do with that. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to break down any of this yet. The, the only thing I know I'm actually going to use is the monthly spread and the notes pages in the back. So the monthly spread is the main part of this planner. It's a monthly planner. This is the most important part for me. So this is how I am going to plan out my content. I try to do videos two to three times a week. So ideally, I would upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I need to, in the beginning of the month, write out how I want my videos to look and what I want to go live. So say I want to film a plan with me in my hourly planner and I want it to go live on the 12th. So that means I would then have to go to the week before or the week before that and plan out when I'm going to film this video and when I'm going to edit it so it can be ready to go on the 12th. So that is what this planner is going to look like. I'm going to kind of have an area where it says which videos are actually going live on my YouTube channel. And then it will also have a spot above it that says, you know, I need to film this on this day and this day. It's also going to have launches that I need to be aware of. It's going to have business things because I am going to be opening a business. So that's going to be in here as well. So this is the main hub of this planner. I'm going to put the content here and on the side here I decided that I was going to track social media. So for me it's not super important followers and subscribers and things like that but it's something that I would like to just kind of 
keep note of. I love looking at statistics. So to see, you know, if I did really well one week and people really responded to my content, what did I do that week that was different and what can I do to kind of help that happen more often? So I kind of want to track those on the side for every week here in the sidebar. So I didn't even write down how I was going to do this because I wasn't sure how I was going to explain it to you. So the sticky notes are blank. But what I'm going to do for each week, I am going to do a spread. So the idea that I had was to do kind of a dashboard layout. So on this side, it would be, you know, any list making I needed to do, things like that. On this side would be kind of a weekly spread. So I could have a section for Monday, a section for Tuesday, for Wednesday, for Thursday, for Friday, for Saturday, or however I wanted to do it. And then in each individual day, I could have a to-do list on what I need to get done that day. So I have this main spread here, but then I'm going to break those weeks down further into the notes pages. So I have one week, and then two weeks, three weeks, and four weeks, which is perfect. If I have a fifth week, and then I will probably put it into the next month. But that's kind of how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the kind of overview on the monthly spread and then in the notes page section I will do a detailed kind of weekly view and I will make that spread myself with like pen and a ruler probably. So that's how my content planner is going to look which is the Aaron Condren monthly. Last but not least is going to be the A5 agenda. So this guy is kind of a trial this year for me. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work how I'm going to like it, but it was so pretty and I love a good ring planner, so we're gonna try it out. So I do have a setup video of this planner as well. I have a sticky note, I have some stickers here, so like a washi card with some Erin Condren washi, and then I have the clear vellum, and I made some dividers from a paper pack from Michaels. And I think I'm gonna change this out for every season. So this is a summer one, I'll probably change out the things for fall and everything else. So monthly spread, I have Erin Condren inserts in the front currently. I have the horizontal inserts. I don't know if I'm going to keep these in here, guys. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I might end up taking it out. I'm not really sure. The main thing that I wanted to show you guys in this was the extras. So for me, this is what I like about this. This is a health insert from Lights Planner Action. I plan on tracking all my health things in here, guys. I am taking on so much but I am so ready. I am ready to be busy and everything that it entails, but I need to be organized. So having this health spread, I think is going to help. So this is just kind of a breakdown. You have your daily steps. You have, you know, whatever activity you're going to do for working out that day. You have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. You have a water tracker. You kind of have a mood tracker down here that you can do, a note section, a habit tracker for your health, and you get to track this every single week. That's exactly what every week looks like. I don't even know how many, if I'm going to use any stickers or I'm going to use pen. But I really, really, really need to get healthy. And I am just slacking right now. So I have this health section that I'm, I know I'm going to be utilizing. Next section up is going to be this section, which is going to be spectacular. This is a meal planning section. I meal plan every week and typically it's just ugly and written down on a piece of paper, but I got these inserts and I am excited. So you have your planning out your meals on this side, your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner all the way down, and then on this side is your grocery list. So you make your meals, you figure out what you need for each meal, and then you bring it over here. And I love this. It looks so good. I love the font. It is just so perfect. It's like this doodle font type thing and it is beautiful and it's right next to like my health inserts so that's perfect I plan it out here and then I can just move it over so that's the second section in this the third section I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use again so this is just kind of another weekly layout from lights planner action this is her executive layout I don't know, I don't have a use for it. I might take it out and just use the other inserts that I know I'm going to use. I like this insert, I just don't know what I'm gonna use it for. So we'll see, as of right now I don't have a use, so I'll probably pull it out. And last one is something that I definitely will be using as well. This is the online shopping one. So I do a lot of shopping, whether it be for me, my business, a friend, family, whatever. In this section, you have discount codes, which I will definitely be using for different shops. 
you have a shopping log so when you make an online purchase whether it be Amazon whether it be a planner shop or whatever you put the shop the item the amount and then you can check off when it's shipped and when it's received things like that so because I do a lot of shopping I will definitely be using this but this is going to be a planner that sits down in my office that does not get pulled out as often I will do my meal planning at the beginning of the week things like that but this is not going to go with me anywhere there is an afterpay log, so like my favorite wax shop has afterpay. So when I make an order over there, I can put it in here and I can, you know, the installment amount, when it's due, when you pay on it, things like that. After there's like six pages of afterpay. This is a do not buy list. I don't have very many people on this, but I do have some, so I can track those back here. There's also a favorite shops, which is pretty awesome. And that's the end. So in this I have a sticker book back here and I have some sticky notes to be able to pull in if I want. So this is the A5 agenda. This one is not going to be probably an everyday planner. We shall see. But I'm excited to try it out and see if it works for me. If not, that's okay, and I might take it out of my lineup and, and go down to three planners, but I wanna start out with it and see how it goes. All right, so if you have any questions in regards to any of these planners, leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer them. Like I said, I'm starting out with four planners. We will see if I stick with them. There is no shame in having one planner or if you have eight planners. Whatever works for you in your system and keeps you organized, is great. I will never belittle somebody for having eight planners and you know make a comment saying why do you have so many planners it's ridiculous I can do everything with one planner you're just making more work for yourself no that's not how this goes the four planners works for me and it keeps me organized that's all that matters if you are the person who only has one planner and everything fits in it that's awesome I'm so excited that you found a system that works for you but for me right now Four planners is what I'm going to start with. My guess is, is that I will end up going down to three, but I want to try with these four because I'm excited about all of them and why not? I, it's my system, my planners, I can do what I want. So <laughs> sorry for that little rant, but I have seen more people comment on like the amount of planners somebody has than ever lately. And it's none of anybody else's business. If their system works for them, great. If you're curious and maybe try another planner if you feel like you're overwhelmed with more planners then go back to one planner anyways let me know if you have any questions I will be doing plan with me's in all of these I'm excited to show you guys how I set them up like my first spread especially this monthly planner I'm gonna dive into this guy and like make different spreads every week and things like that so leave any questions below and yeah that's all I have for you guys today. So I hope you all have an awesome day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.